Hello and welcome! In this video example, I want to show you how to use synthetic division in order to divide two polynomials. Now, there's a couple of things you want to watch out for. One, you have to know when you can use synthetic division, and two, you have to be very careful on setting it up. So, when it comes to the first one, you can only use synthetic division if you're di dividing by x plus or minus a number. So, in the example that I have, I have my top polynomial being divided by x plus 5. So since it follows that form, x plus or minus number, I know that I can definitely divide these two polynomials. Now the second part comes with the setup. So basically when you set up your synthetic division, start with what looks like an upside down division bar. Then take the coefficients of the polynomial you are being um, dividing. So I have a 1x cubed, a 7x squared, a 7x, and a minus 15. If you are missing any powers of x in here, so say I didn't have an x squared, you need to put in a zero placeholder for that missing power. All right, now that you got all of those numbers, we need to divide it by a number. Now, this is basically a factor that we're testing out or one that we're gonna divide it by, and in synthetic division, we use the zero. So the zero that comes from x plus five is a minus five. All right, now we can actually do the synthetic division process. Okay, now this is a very fast process, so watch very carefully how it works. You take the first number, whatever it is, and you immediately copy it down in the first spot. So one. When you start building these numbers down here, you wanna multiply by the negative five. So one times negative five is negative five. When you get that answer, write it in the next column. Okay? Now when you get two numbers here, add them together and form a new number here. So seven plus a negative five is a positive two. Good. And again, once we build these ones, multiply by that negative five. There we go. So I've written it into the next column. I add the two. So negative three, and I multiply. Finally, adding the negative 15 and the positive 15, I get zero. Now, this last number that shows up here, this is basically your remainder. And notice how in this one I actually got a zero. It means that I don't have a remainder, that when I divide these two polynomials, it went in evenly. Now, you also have to interpret these numbers that you get out. Here's basically how you do that. Think of the polynomial that you started with. So this was essentially 1x cubed. And these numbers will represent a new polynomial that is one less in power. So this is going to be an x squared. This one will be an x, and that has no x. So what this shows is that when we take our top polynomial and divide it by x plus 5, our answer is basically an x squared plus a 2x minus 3. There you go. So you can see why this is such a fast process. It's basically a lot of multiplying and adding, but it gets the job done. And again, remember, you can only use synthetic division when dividing by x plus or minus a number. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.